Hi guys, it's Rune, the math person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this video, I'll be going over question 116 on SO exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, I assume you're attentive, let's just dive right in. So this question asks, calculate the variance of the annual number of tornadoes in country Q, given that there are no tornadoes in country P. So we first need to find the probability distribution function, which we know for probability of Q given P is equal to zero, to be the probability of Q and P divided by the probability that P is equal to zero. This is P equal to zero as well. So the probability that P is equal to zero is this part right here. So the total probability that P is equal to zero is just going to be equal to 0.12 plus 0 0.06 plus 0 0.05 plus 0 0.02 which is equal to 0.25 and now we're just in order for us to find the variance we know the variance formula is equal to the second moment right minus the first moment squared or let's start with the first moment the expectation of q given p is equal to zero so we know that it, that is equal to the q value times the probability function, right? Probability of Q given P is equal to zero. So the Q value here could take zero with the probability of what? 0.12 divided by the 0.25, right? Because that's this is conditional. Plus one times 0.06 divided by 0.25 plus two times 0.05 divided by 0.25. And lastly, it will be three with a probability of 0.02 0.02 divided by 0.25, which is equal to 0.88. Okay, let's find the second moment. The second moment, you just have to do the Q squared, and then the probability function is still the same. So this is equal to Q squared times the probability of Q given P is equal to zero. So that's gonna be equal to zero squared, 0.12 divided by 0.25, plus one squared times 0.06. So it's basically the same thing as a numerator. I mean, the one above it, except it's squared for the Q value. And lastly, it's going to be 3 squared, 0 0.02 over 0 0.25. So this is equal to 1.76. And finally, putting it back into our variance formula, it's going to be equal to the second moment minus the first moment squared. So this is equal to 0.9856, which is approximately equal to 0.99, our answer D. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!